Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute training video, PowerMax 051 Fault, Start Signal at Power Up. This video will help you identify the symptoms of a start signal at Power Up, referred to as a stuck start fault for the PowerMax product line, as well as where to locate the fault code or fault icon on the machine. We'll also discuss the most common solutions to this fault condition. Typical symptoms of this fault include the torch not firing. PowerMax systems will display these fault codes differently. Locate your physical copy of the operator manual that came with the system or access a digital copy online at hypertherm.com. Use the maintenance and troubleshooting section of your manual to assist in your efforts. Using your manual, locate the fault table. For the PowerMax 30 XP, the gas pressure and temperature LEDs blink when the system is powered on. For the PowerMax 30 Air, the internal compressor LED and the temperature LED blink alternately when the machine is powered on. For the PowerMax 45 XP, an alternating blinking torch fault and temperature LED on the front of the machine indicates a start signal is being given at power up. In addition to the alternating LEDs, fault conditions blink on the two digit display in the format 0 51. Dash zero. For higher amperage machines, such as the PowerMax 65, 85, 105, or 125, the 051 fault will appear on the display screen along with the fault icon. For systems being used with a machine torch configuration, turn off the power supply, disconnect all cables on the rear of the power supply except the air hose and power cord, then restart the power supply. If the fault does not clear, your PowerMax power supply is damaged. Contact your local repair center for assistance. If this clears the fault, the problem lies with the machine start relay or wiring. Contact your local OEM or distributor for help. For systems being used in a hand torch configuration, if the power supply is turned on while the torch trigger is pressed, the system is disabled. To resolve the fault, begin by turning the power supply off. Release the trigger and cycle the power to the machine. This should clear the fault from the screen. If the 051 start signal fault still appears upon power up, then the trigger switch, torch lead, or power supply may be damaged. For the PowerMax 30 XP and PowerMax 30 Air, contact your local authorized repair center for assistance. For the other PowerMax systems, to determine if the torch lead assembly or power supply is damaged, you will need a multimeter to perform a continuity check. If you don't have a multimeter or aren't familiar with using one, contact your local authorized repair center so they may continue the troubleshooting process for you. First, we need to determine if the issue is within the torch lead assembly or the power supply. To confirm this, a continuity test on the torch connector is needed. Press the red button on the connector and pull the connector out of the receptacle. If there is a torch disable switch, make sure it is in the green ready to fire position. Using the multimeter, check for continuity between pins 6 and 7 at the quick disconnect of the torch lead. If high resistance or OL is measured when the trigger switch is not depressed, the problem lies within the power supply and it needs to be taken to an authorized repair center for further testing. If there is continuity or low resistance, less than 1 ohm, when not depressing the trigger switch, either the trigger switch or the torch lead assembly is damaged. To determine which part needs replacement, remove the left side of the torch handle or shell. For both Duramax and Duramax lock torches, leave the multimeter connected to pins 6 and 7 of the quick disconnect and unplug the start switch connector. If continuity is still measured at approximately 1 ohm or less with the start switch disconnected, then the torch lead is defective and it will need to be replaced. If a high resistance or OL is measured, then the start switch is defective and it will need to be replaced. This concludes our video on the PowerMax 051 fault start signal at power up.